Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we have the new Scorpions that I have been waiting on for a little bit. Uh, again, these are from Jason D. Brantley. Uh, first experience was good, so I decided to make a larger order. Uh, I do already know what's in here. I know I haven't told anybody else because I wanted it to be a surprise. So uh, the first part of this, we're not going to rehouse them immediately. This is going to be a proof of life and or death uh, video. So um, if they're all okay, then I will just continue as a regular video. So let's get started. I got these at work about 9.50 this morning. And uh, the day took forever to end <laughs> because all I was thinking about was hurrying up and getting home and making sure these guys were okay. Um, so I do not doubt Jason and his packing. Um, if he packs the same way he did the first time, then everything should be fine. Styrofoam, insulation, get that off. Alright, newspaper again. Should be seven in here. So, oh, there's one, there's two, oh, there's a few of them. Okay, so he did take them together like he did last time. So, we have Androctinus crossicata times two. I knew those were coming. Let me see, where's my knife? I was actually excited to get these crossies. Um, I've only ever, ever really been able to see pictures of them on, you know, Facebook groups and Instagram and stuff like that, but I've looked them up. We also have a Parabuthus Maximus. I also knew that was coming. I like the vial change. Um, my first order was just the, what do they call them, uh, four ounce deli cups. And these are actual nice little vials. Not to say that the deli cups weren't suitable, they were perfectly fine. And was what I was actually expecting, either that or straws. Come on, that is a dull knife. Ever since I lost my best knife, I've been slacking. Oh, dang. He sent more. Okay, so I bought one. Leoris Conquestriatus. I already have one. I just wanted one so that I would have two. He sent me three. So, thank you very much. That is freaking fantastic. Unless I got someone else's order. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. Yep, because there they are there. I have a hot and tata, hot and tata. I already have a gravid female, but I can't wait for the babies. Uh, he decided to give me a freebie, hot and tata, which is awesome. Thank you again. We also got another Parabuthus transvalicus. Uh, I was willing to buy one, but he decided to give it to me for free as well. So, can't thank you enough. I really can't. I love these things. And I feel like I can't have enough. Um, one thing that sucks is I was looking around the tarantula collection and I realized I will definitely have to slow down on getting tarantulas because, as we know, they, they take more room as adults. They don't take up much room now. But most of the ones, if if not all but a couple, will be large enough to need at least a 10-gallon equivalent. Um, 
to be happy and and able to move around as it would want to. Uh, so I'm just going to turn this around. And we are going to start getting the proof of life. As soon as I get. Sorry for a shot on the floor there. Okay, so we will start with the ones that I already cut because that just seems to make sense. Got my tongs ready. Do not have my scissors ready though, which I probably should have had ready long before I started this show. There we are. I have no idea how I continually lose the same items all the time, whether it be my tongs, my scissors, <laughs> the little glass that I use for the to draw with the syringe, the water with the syringe. Okay, so we will be doing this in a Sterilite container just because, you know, just in case. We do not want one of these. We don't want any of these running on the floor. And I definitely don't want Rosie to take an interest in one out of nowhere and then have a bad day. Okay, so let's see. We will start with the first Androctinus crossicata which is fine with me because I have been looking forward to these. There was another species I was wanting to get. I think it's, uh, if I'm pronouncing it right, Hottentata Franz Wernieri or something like that. Um, he was actually wanting some too, but he was not able to get them on his shipment. So that will be for a future order. What I wanted to mention, just because I'm slowing down on tarantulas, doesn't necessarily mean I'll slow down on scorpions. They don't take nearly as much room. Okay, so cut it. Is it a screw cap or a pop cap? Let me try. I'm thinking it's a pop cap. Yep. Okay. There's that, and let's double tong this. I'm holding that weird, okay. Oh, I see something. There it is. Do not know if you can see it. I have been watching videos on these guys. That looks like maybe pre oh yeah, that's pre-molt. So I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, definitely pre-molt, and I saw it move. So as I said, this is proof of life or death. So we will just keep moving on for right now. I might actually do a second video tonight at the rehouse because we have already gone eight minutes on this and I only have like 32 I think so um, stay tuned for that Let's see that is my air conditioner I am sorry but it is hot lost the light because my phone does not have enough power. So I wonder if that fixed it. 
it's charging. So I've got it on my little power bank. So we will just continue. Now that I know they're pretty deep in there, I don't really feel as cautious with the double tongues right now. Let me see. Okay, um, I will probably have to take this one out because I cannot find it. This is the second undropped in this cross -Okata. Oh, it even has cotton at the bottom. That's a nifty little deal. So let's see. Get a cup ready real quick for this guy. That way I have something to put him in at least. For the time being. Oh, I see it. There it is. Ooh, that one's in pre-molt too. Heavy, heavy pre-molt. So that is a, all right. So we're close to third end star because these are at two right now. So they will molt. And what I'm hoping for is I do not have the same problem I did with the Parabuthus transvelicus. Because that one did pass within about a week after molting, and I have no idea why. Okay, let me make sure what I got going on here. Okay, so next up is the Parabuthus Maximus. Also a little excited to get these and I also found they have an orange morph. So I am hoping to get some orange morphs here in the future. see it and I'm, I can already tell I love those colors and this is in pre-molt as well nice there we go we got the light back let me see if I can focus on that for you kind of sort of look at those reds or oranges and tans and a nice black Telson. Okay. All right. So now on to the the three Leoris Conquestriatus. Thank you again for three of them. I only wanted one. You are freaking awesome. Okay. I think the only thing that might actually truly terrify me about these scorpions isn't isn't their venom levels or anything like that, but their speed. They are so ridiculously fast that it seems unnecessary. <laughs> they are stupid fast. That is exactly why I use my tongs, because 
they will be on you before you know it. And I mean that, like you won't even see their legs move and they're already there. So, Leoris Conquestri Otis. Let's make sure, just a little tap. Okay, yep, you're good. So, this will make number two of my LQs. And we'll go on to the next one. Dang, this one's near the top. See, I'd prefer it if you were down there. Pre-molt. And he's alive. Okay. So. The freebie, I don't really count the freebies under a lag. Um, me personally. They didn't have to give them to you. So I feel that as long as you've received what you purchased, then yes, it's sad, but I do not think it is a vendor's place to have to replace an animal that they gave to you out of kindness. As I said, I knew there were a couple freebies in here. But these two extra LQs, I did not know they were coming. Oh yeah, he's alive. He's mean. And pre-molt. Yeah. And I believe these are all two eyes. Yep, they're all two instar. So, I will have a bunch of third instars here soon. Okay, so next up we will do the... Yeah, let's do the Parabuthus Transvalicus. Because I, I was sad when I lost that one. It, uh, it's always sad to lose a pet. I do not care who you are. If you keep it as an animal and you care about it, it's going to make you a little sad. Three left. They are a little hard to grip. There we go. could be my fault too because I chew on my nails. If my hands are still dirty, I am sorry. I try to wash them so much. But work grease. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh man, that one is plump. Here, let me get a better view of that. Look at that pre-molt. Super heavy. Wow. Okay, that is going to go into a dark place tonight because that could molt tonight. You never know. Alright, now we have the second Parabuthus Maximus. I always like to have at least two because it seems it's scorpions pass for what seems like no apparent reason um, just like my one P transvelicus I have no idea what was wrong with it um, 
I'm guessing just a bad molt. It does happen. say that one's pre molt too. Alright. I must have had their babies around the same time. Nice and healthy. Last one is the hot and tata, hot and tata. This may not seem as cool to some others, especially some keepers that have um, some nice scorpions, and I mean nice scorpions, like not even ones that I have. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely alive. Uh, it looks fantastic. I wish my camera would focus the right way automatically instead of... Oh, alright, so it looks like... That thing looks amazing. I know you guys can't really see it, but it looks good. And it looks feisty too, so... I will actually probably do a second video. Um, this has already taken 22 minutes. So I guess stay tuned for that. And that will be coming up eventually after this video. Thanks for watching.